In the past week, the CDC confirmed more cases of monkeypox in Texas. The small but growing case count raises questions about the virus and its potential risks. For Insight Digital anchor Will Dupree talked to the state's top disease tracker. She explained how differently this virus is passed around compared to COVID-19. How seriously should we take what is happening here in the monkeypox situation in the state? So I can tell you that from the public health perspective, we're taking this very seriously. We know that there, there's a, a small possibility that it can be spread through droplets. Um, so little bits of um, respiratory secretions that come out of your mouth when you talk or sneeze or cough. But most of what's driving the current outbreak is close skin to skin contact. And so anytime that um, somebody has those monkeypox lesions on their skin, they can spread it to somebody else through that really close skin to skin contact. This isn't as widespread or transmitting quite as easily as some other diseases um, that we're used to. The CDC sent out in its initial alert about monkeypox that some of the initial cases here in the U.S. were showing up in gay, bisexual, or men who have intimate relationships with other men. However, experts are pointing out, you know, this is a communicable disease that can affect anybody. So, so I'm wondering if you have any concerns about monkeypox creating a stigma for the LGBTQ community in Texas. We do, because we know that um, right now, many of the people who are um, getting this monkeypox disease are men who have sex with men or identify as gay or bisexual, but we know that these viruses don't really care um, that they're just being transmitted um, through close contact. And that, um, as I said, you know, the group that's most at risk right now um, might not be the same one that's at risk in um, a, a week or a month. We expect that this is going to be transmitted through different populations and anybody that has close contact with somebody else, including household contacts. Um, and so while we are a little of, a bit afraid about the, the stigmatization, um, I, there's, there's not really a place for it because really we're all susceptible. The Biden administration announced that more commercial labs will begin testing for monkeypox. Dr. Shuford said that's good news, but that Texas is already in a good position to handle the current need to test for the virus. Nine years after then-State Senator Wendy Davis led a 13-hour filibuster against abortion restrictions, we check in with her on what remains in the fight for reproductive rights. Understaffed and dealing with an increase in demand is becoming the new normal for lots of industries, but for families dependent on government services, it's not something they can afford to work around. Ahead, why some Central Texans are having their food benefits delayed and what they can do while they wait.